Set to play some ball, and here we go. Liberty controls the tip. One note for North Florida tonight. They are without leading scorer, Jose Placer. He is out with concussion symptoms. Yeah, and that's a big note <laughs> as he was their leading scorer. So they're going to have to make up some points elsewhere. King McDowell puts it on the deck. Now hits a cutting Kyle Road. Can't connect. The follow by Shiloh Robinson off the mark. And the Ospreys will head the other direction. Out of Doyen handling the basketball. James looking inside and air mails it over the head of Jaden Parker. Starting five for Liberty here this evening. McGee, McDowell, Rode, the freshman Vinzant, and Shiloh Robinson. Liberty also without a player tonight. Blake, Blake Preston not available due to COVID protocols. So the Flames big man off the bench, unavailable this evening. Darius McGee with the blow by, leaves it for Robinson. Kicks to the corner, three ball coming. Off the mark, but a whistle, and Keegan McDowell fouled in the corner. So he will earn three free throws. Yeah, I think that was Hicklin a little bit late getting out there. Great ball movement by Liberty. And so he was off balance, flew right in, and knocks Keegan McDowell down, sent him to the line. Yeah, that foul the first on Hicklin. McDowell to the strike. Misses the first free throw. That is a rarity for Keegan. An 81% free throw shooter on the year. Yeah, doesn't get there a lot, as we've said before, but when he does, he's pretty much money. Liberty, we mentioned 1 0 in conference play, beat Stetson, and then had to sit around and wait for a week. Their game on Saturday against Kennesaw State postponed due to COVID issues within the Owls program. Three ball on the way, off the mark from Hendrickson. Darius McGee getting the Flames into their offense, driving into the paint, stops, kicks to the corner. Shiloh Robinson, the pump fake. They find McDowell on the wing. That rattles through. You talk about good ball movement. They yeah. are moving it well here in the early stages. Yeah, great ball movement. They didn't even go around the horn. I mean, they went a couple skip passes right through the defense and really were yo-yoing the Ospreys on that possession. Hendrickson handling the basketball. They need him to play really well tonight. Without yeah. Placer, he is their other kind of go-to scorer as he kicks it out, and that three goes through for Jarius Hicklin. Yeah, Hicklin, another guy that's going to have to step up. But yeah, going back to Henderson, I like what other coach Trissel said. He's got to play big, but he doesn't have to be Superman. You know, he doesn't want him to take on too much tonight, even with Placer out. Behind the back pass from Rogue to McGee. <laughs> Kyle's been working hey, that in from time to time. With seven assists to each of their last two games, he can dish it out a lot of different ways. Taking a look now at our impact players tonight, presented by Foster Fuels Nest. Well, a guy we were just talking about, number three, Carter Hendrickson for the Ospreys. I mean, he is a great kid, great player. Household name now, the A-Sun, yep. through his play. I mean, recently just got his 1,000 points, 500 rebound. Great player. He needs to play big. He's a great scorer, uh, but he's going to need some help tonight. And for Liberty, a guy that needs no introduction, the reigning A-Sun player of the year, Darius McGee. I mean, you see his numbers, phenomenal numbers, Matt. He's seventh in the country yeah. in scoring and third in the country in most threes. He is a he's a threat as soon as he crosses half court. Hendrickson nearly lost the basketball. Gets it back now, feeds into the post. They get it right back to him, deflected out of bounds. It will stay with the Ospreys. And you can see Liberty's got some different matchups from time to time, but they are always knowing where Hendrickson is all at all times. One thing you know about North Florida, they are going to jack a bunch of threes. Yes. That's the birds of Trey, right? Birds that's of that's, Trey are alive and well. That's right. They, they're going to launch There's right on cue. Point. That one comes up short. I'm talking with head coach Matthew Driscoll over the years. He says, I'm not going to pull you out for missing. I'm going to pull you out for not shooting. That's right. McGee trying to hit the cutting Vinzant. Couldn't find the handle. Kyle Rowe open for three. A little too strong. No shortage of good looks for the Flames here early on. Yeah, they've really got the Ospreys scrambling on defensive matchups, and they found the open man Liberty has with great ball movement. Dorian James kicks it out. They try to go right back to him. Working on McDowell, rises up over the top of him, and that rims off. Yeah, nice job by McDowell defensively, because James, I mean, he's playing that four position, and he's got some great power.
McGee again getting into the paint, hanging, gives it to Robinson. Driving baseline, little bump. And a foul will go against Parker. Well, there's Matthew Driscoll in his 13th season. 196 wins there in North Florida. What a job he's done with that program. One of the more entertaining guys we talked to. Yes. So you know how he loves analytics, yeah. he loves getting into numbers. Matt, I got into the numbers myself. Is that right? I, yeah, I've done some calculations. It's mathematically impossible not to like Coach Driscoll. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There <laughs> when you, you hear go. him talk, yeah. I mean, he loves basketball, he knows the game, and he loves his kids. And you can see why kids love going to play for him. He is as passionate yes. and energetic a guy as you will ever meet. And if you need to know where the closest Dunkin' Donuts is, <laughs> he's your guy. I respect that. <laughs> Ospreys down early in this one. Hicklin hailing the basketball. Gives it up to James. Hendrickson driving downhill, working on Robinson, fading away and left that one short. Shiloh yeah. Robinson's turning himself into one of the better defenders in the Ace Sun Conference. Yes, and you're seeing now he's going to have to guard a perimeter player, and that's what Shiloh gives you. It gives you the athleticism and the length. He can play in the post defensively, and now he's got a tough assignment with Hendrickson. Tonight. Speaking of length, you saw Jaden Parker yeah. snatch one out of the sky, 6'10". He is a big-time athlete as that three rattles out. And the slow shooting start for the Ospreys continues. They're now one of six from the field. And yeah. that's really been their struggle here lately. We talk about all the threes they shoot. They haven't been making a lot of them since the calendar turned to conference play. Yeah, it's going to be tougher tonight without Placer. But, you know, as Coach Driscoll said, like, you got to just keep doing what you do. you got to be who you are. They're going to keep firing them. And he says the tide will turn. That three rattles out, but a good job tapping it out. Anderson cues one up. That yeah. goes down. Yeah, with everybody crashing the glass, Hendrickson had a little bit of extra time to set his feet, and he makes that one count. Hendrickson, high school teammate of Kyle Road at Lexington Christian well, Academy. There's a team. You yeah. know they had some, some wins with those two guys wearing the same jersey. Couple of good kids and good players. Yeah, that's for sure. Dowell in rhythm. He's got seven points to lead the way for the Flames. Yeah. McDowell doing such a great job this year from beyond the arc, but I've always loved his mid-range game. Hicklin trying to drive on McGee, cut off, kicks it out. Adedoyan had that one partially deflected. Now yeah. it's loose on the deck, taken away by Benzant. No, that's, that's a great, hey, it's funny, and at the time it could be kind of annoying, but that's something those guys in that team yeah. will remember for the rest of their lives. How about Coach Driscoll going over and have a little conversation with Hugh Freeze there? <laughs> I mean, he, that guy, he is a talker. He likes. Yes. He's a people person, and you see him That's talking sure. up the uh, Flames football coach there as play resumes. Hendrickson handling the basketball, working on Robinson, trying to back him down, fading away up and over the top of him. And it's off the mark. Rebound yeah. snatched by the freshman, See, Brody Peebles. And that's why you got to have a big guy against Hendrickson because he's not just a three-point shooter. He can go down and post you up in the paint. Shiloh does a great job defensively on him. Kyle Rowe takes it, leans into the defender, and draws the foul. Right, let's get to our keys to the game. Nash presented by Larry's Tire and Auto. Well, North Florida already doing what I think they need to do, and that's push the pace a little bit. They're, they're very comfortable, you know, running a little bit and even taking shots early in the, in the possession. You need to do that against Liberty's pack line. And then Liberty, penetration, and they've already shown that too. Like, North Florida's not going to allow Liberty just yeah. to sit out there and shoot threes. They're going to run them off the line, so it's going to be important that Liberty makes the most of that penetration get into the ring. A couple of free throws go down for Kyle Rowe. Liberty stretches its lead to 11-6. Remember, these two te teams played last year, both of them in this gym. That's they were right. doing the whole two games at one location deal last year due to COVID. Liberty won both of those. Both of them, they handled pretty well. They weren't as competitive as we had seen the previous couple of years. Yeah, right at the end of the season, Liberty was really hitting their groove and kind of rode that wave all the way to their third conference championship. Another tough look for Hendrickson. He gets that one to fall. He's coming off an 11-point game against Stetson, in the game they lost on a buzzer beater yeah. in overtime. Here's the other thing about Hendrickson. you got to feel for the kid. He's been battling back spasms yeah. all year, which are crazy because if they do flare up at any time, 
Yeah, an offensive foul going against the foul. Flames. Take a look at Flames head coach, Richie McKay. What a job he's done. You mentioned three straight A-Sun championships. A couple A-Sun Coach of the Year honors to his credit. And hoping to get the Flames back to the NCAA tournament. On to Doyen, handling the basketball. Lobs it. That was a nice catch by Abar just to track that one down. Now they swing it. Jordan Priester in there now handling the basketball, working on McDowell, trying to back him down. Ten on the shot clock. Adedoyan lost the handle, but able to draw the foul on Peebles. Yeah, he got into his, got into Brody Peebles, his body, create that contact. And again, it hasn't necessarily translated to wins for North Florida, but yeah. they got guys that certainly can shoot the three. That's their mantra, but. When it's not there, they got guys that can go off the dribble. You saw Adedoyan do just that. They're just 14 of 64 from beyond the arc in the two conference games. That's 22%. Matthew Driscoll saying, yeah, that, we're getting good looks. He's like, I just expect sooner or later, yes. they're good shooters, they're going to go. Wow. He's hoping tonight's that, that night, although that one rims off. Yeah, nice penetration there by Chaz Lanier. Just does nothing, rolls halfway down and out. McGee driving, hanging, throwing it away. On the run now are the Ospreys. That is Doyen. Kicks it out. Three ball. Way too strong. And Peebles pulls the board. McGee's able to get to the paint. But then he's looking for that kick. That mid-range, it looks like it's there if he wants it. Yeah, and, and there was a lot of contact. But I like the no call. Both guys were kind of up in the air. and Another Liberty turnover. Three ball off the mark. Yeah, see, now both times, now that's what I'm talking about with my game key, pushing the pace. That's what they need to do. You don't want to let Liberty set up that pack line, which is just stifling. So North Florida, they, they take a couple shots early. They don't fall for them, but I think that's how they need to try to play tonight. Robinson now turns the table. He's trying to back down on Hendrick. He's coming off a career-high 16 points the last time out against Stetson. And it's knocked down all four of his free throw attempts so far here tonight. Yeah, Shiloh, you know, we just keep saying it. He just works so hard. It's great to see him just reap the benefits. He, get, he keeps getting better, having better production each game. And again, he got the tough assignment tonight yeah. on Hendrickson. So, I mean, you just can't say enough about Shiloh. At three, two, strong. Wow. Rising up was Jordan Priester to snatch that one, losing it on the way down. That was the most impressive non-rebound I've seen in a long time. Kyle Rhodes gets in the paint, kicks out. McGee now knifing his way through. Evils, boy, that one denied yeah. the long reach of Jonathan Abar. North Florida, a good shot blocking team. They are. Abar and, and uh, Parker. There's Abar laying it in off the window. Right now, you are seeing just how committed North Florida is to yes. running Liberty off the three points. Yes. And, and, and they're they're scrambling, but they're hustling, making Liberty, as I said, put it on the on the on the floor. They got to make it count, though. They got to get some baskets off of that penetration. Warfield feeds it inside to Micaiah B. He's missed the last couple of games out with COVID protocols. Double team comes, looking for help, gives it up. Three on the shot clock, Warfield will need to hoist. Step back, long two, well long. And shot clock violation gives it back to North Florida. Really nice defensive possession here by North Florida. Good little segment there. I mean, Jonathan Abar gets the shot block, he comes down the other end, finishes, and that time they get a shot clock violation, so. Again, we've been kind of singing the praises of the Osprey offensively. They, they know they got a tough uh, battle tonight defending Liberty. So far, they've done a nice job. That foul down low as that was Abar on the catch. You mentioned Plessaire, Blake Preston out of the lineup for the Flames tonight. COVID protocols. Averaging over five and five, and just a force in the middle. Yeah. Certainly the biggest body the Flames will throw at you. Yeah, and, and again, his minutes are down a little bit this year, but it's it, he's been used strategically. Uh, and, and I really believe that tonight he was going to be uh, have some real valuable minutes. So it's a shame that the, that Liberty loses uh, Blake Preston uh, tonight. But 
That just seems to be the, that's, that's the way this year is going to be, it looks like. Yeah. Between you're games just, and individual guys. You're just thankful when you have enough to play that's right, right at this point, because we've seen it across the country, a lot of teams unable to do that. Second free throw up and good for Abar. I mean, you even think about, we're talking to one of the North Florida coaches today. He said, we flew across, you know, halfway across the country to Manhattan, Kansas to play K-State. Yeah, that's right. Then the CDC changed some of their, their rules and how things work with, you know, contact tracing. We had to turn around and drive right back home or fly back home the next day. So you just don't know day to day when, if you're going to be able to play. So as Richie McKay always talks about, approach it all with the That's spirit right. of gratitude. That's this has right. been his mantra for the last year and a half. Well, he's thankful to have number two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who I would just, say so. Yeah, who really, you know, again, Darius sees guys running at him, and he's, it took him a few games in the season to adapt to that, uh, how guys were really going to be up on him. He's done a really nice job previously and tonight. Taking it off the dribble, that time he gets all the way to the rim and gets himself to the free throw line. First point, points of the night for Darius McGee. Averages 21 and a half on the year. Yeah, he has just been flat out filling it up. Got to the rim, no on the first attempt, but drawing the foul was Chaz Lanier. Yeah, Lanier, another one of these young guys. I don't know if we've talked enough about how young North Florida is. Fourth youngest team in the country. And so you got some guys that, that again, have to learn the, the, you know, the, the, the hard way. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned that tough non-conference schedule, but that grows you up quick. And they, they believe in a lot of these young guys, and, and, and they're starting to show promise. Yeah, you know, you and I, when you think about North Florida, what do you think of? You think of all those old guys that were there a couple of years ago, the Gandhi Arosas, yeah. the Garrett Sams, Washington Minus, all those, there, those guys are all long gone. It's a new crop now, and really Carter Hendrickson, the one an old guy that's trying to bridge the gap. Road kicks it out, open three coming from McGee. That goes through, his first three of the night. Yeah, we, we've talked about Kyle Rose, and, and you just can't say enough how he's he's done so well, not only just making assists, seven his last two games, but yeah. making the offense really flow is, is something that can't go unnoticed. Hicklin trying to get around McGee, kicks out, three ball coming, rims off, tapped out and gathered by Warfield. Now he loses the handle and ends up committing the foul. Kind of kicked that ball on the yeah. dribble. Yeah, I don't know if it was his foot or, or the defender running by, but his momentum just kind of took the legs out from. Yeah, right off his own toe. Hit like. I think. And so the second personal foul on Warfield. He'll have a seat. Five point ball game here, under nine to go in the first half. Hitman creating some space and getting the friendly roll as that one falls through. He's got five. Young man that played the last two years at Oklahoma Baptist, actually played for former Liberty assistant Jason Aker. Yeah, Jason Aker doing a great job down there at OBU. All deflected, taken away. There's that length we talk about, the long arms there from the bigs of North Florida. Yeah, the right idea, trying to penetrate the pass, but the Ospreys get a hand in the passing lane and get the turnover. Six turnovers committed by Liberty. Hendrickson steps through, that one partially blocked by Shiloh Robinson, tracked down by McDowell. And great recovery by Shiloh. Hendrickson turned the corner on a nice little pump fake and stepped through, and Shiloh recovered to block it away. The lob, McGee lands, and they land out of bounds. He did. So the seventh turnover now. A lot of empty possessions yes. here in the first half for Liberty. And again, it, I think their game plan, the, the North Florida, has, has kind of disrupted Liberty a little bit. They're running at him so hard off the line. Liberty making the right move to penetrate, but they've been empty possessions, as you as you mentioned. Hendrickson hits the deck. It's the feet get tied up there. I'm going to drive it. Couldn't convert, but what a job Robinson has done on him so far. Hendrickson, yeah. two of nine from the field. Yeah, Shiloh's athleticism and 
arm length have really disrupted Hendrickson so far. Robinson rising up, denied the follow is up and in, but a foul call. The 41 against Stanford, you know, a couple weeks ago, and but does it within the flow of the offense. With more on Liberty, we check in once again with Emily. Yeah, during that last time out, McKay going over with his players how to avoid getting their shots blocked around the rim. And you'll be very surprised about this. Kyle Rhodes being vocal with his teammates, asking them to be physical over and over, asking them to be physical these last eight minutes. Yeah, Rhodes, the vocal leader, certainly, for this Liberty squad. Out of Doyen, gives it up. Jordan Priester on the wing. Three ball on the way, that's off the mark. Rebound to Peebles. North Florida now two of 11 from beyond the arc. That one nearly turned over as Rode lost the handle. Robinson trying to get it to the freshman Peebles. Now the backdoor cut from Rode. Soft touch drops through. Seven-point lead, the largest of the night for the Flames. Hitlin steps back, shoots the three over Robinson. No, the rebound, a physical one, pulled down by Kyle Rowe. Yeah, Kyle Rowe, I'll show you how to do it. Stuck his body into Parker there to secure the rebound. Rowe gets to the free throw line, looking for help. Talk about back-to-back -back seven assist games for Rowe. He is kind of the creator on the offensive end for Liberty. Well, two guys, yeah, same spot. Neither of them took the basketball, and it's another turnover. Yeah, got jammed up in there. They got, you got to watch your teammates space the floor a little more effectively there. Parker. Pretty move for the second year freshman out of North Carolina. Yeah, I really like Parker's game. Got length, athleticism, but, but he, again, Coach Trissel talks about how hard he worked yeah. to get this, to get himself into the starting lineup. You love hearing that stuff, seeing hard work pay off. Peebles gets into the paint, puts it up. No, rebound to Hendrickson, and here come the Ospreys on the move. The lob ahead, Parker catches, lays it up. No, but able to draw the foul. There's that athleticism. You got your big leading the way on the fast break. That's right. They're pushing the pace. You can see him, he's got he's got good perimeter skills. Nice little ball fake. Coming over his left shoulder, nice little hook, and there he is out on the break. Running hard, getting rewarded. Heads to the free throw line. This has been the one spot that's been an adventure for him this year. Shooting under 60% from the strike. Darius McGee subbing back in. Also our first look at the freshman DJ Moore for Liberty. One more free throw coming. That's also been an issue for North Florida in a Sun play as a team. Shooting just 58% from the line, including think back to the end of that Stetson game. They had a chance late to yeah. seal that one at the line, were unable to do so before eventually losing in overtime. Yeah, missed both. Had a chance to either hit one of them, but... Rode gets to the rim. No! Little too strong. Fight for the rebound. They'll say it's a tie-up in the possession arrow. Points to the Ospreys. Yeah, Rode shaking his head. This thing, I, he doesn't know how it <laughs> rolled out of there, but but I like his thought process. Yeah, we, we've sung his praises about running offense, but I like that he's being aggressive and looking for his shot tonight. Here we are, five minutes to go in the first half, a four-point ball game. North Florida without their leading scorer, hanging in this one. Hendrickson working hard to get a look. It did everything but go down. Man, that's a tough move, tough D, man. These guys are really, really battling. This is, man, 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 we weren't surprised. We knew both teams, they love playing against each other. McGee drives, kicks, more open from beyond the arc. That one circles around and out. So points difficult to come by on both sides. Hendrickson now driving. They've been partially blocked. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Flames. It's like Kyle Rowe may have banged knees with somebody. He comes up a little bit gimpy. 
And maybe Hendrickson, he's sort of limping as he's leaving right. the court there. A couple of high school teammates <laughs> going head to head. Meeting at the rim. With three from the corner. No. Robinson, good position. Yeah. Able to grab the board. Yeah, we saw the shot go up. I love seeing guys turn and find a guy and stick your body into him. Shiloh did it there and pulls the rebound. Neither team shooting better than 30% from the field in this first half. Yeah, it's been physical, and that may be affecting the shots. Both teams struggling, but long way to go. Robinson backing his way down. Parker powers it up. And try to complete the three-point play. Can't do it. He's leading the way for Liberty right now with eight points on the night. Yeah, eight points and some really great defensive possessions against Carter Hendrickson. Out of Doyen. Quiet night for him offensively is yet to score. James puts it on the deck. Driving on Vincent. Couldn't convert. Now loose on the deck. McDowell finally tracks it down. Nothing is easy tonight. I tell you. Shots are hard to come by. Possessions are hard to come by. And Zant trying to turn the corner, now kicks out to McDowell. He had a good start offensively for Liberty to begin this game. And now a whistle away from the ball. And yeah, like Darius McGee was cutting through the lane, and can't see who that was. But maybe been Lanier. Yeah, Lanier, I think, just sort of just gave him a little friendly reminder that I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to make it, <laughs> I'm make it tough on you yeah. tonight. Looks like they may have got actually Hicklin on that foul. Okay. So if so, that's his second. In the old days, man, we used to t used to tell, play we used to call him you crack the cutter. Yeah. Like nobody gets a free run through the lane. Yeah. You just stepped up and just checked your body into it. <laughs> Again, that was a time where we were a little more, you know, they weren't trying to restrict yeah, movement right. and things yeah. like that. But you made people pay just by running through the lane. It was a simpler time. It was a simpler time. It was. <laughs> Flames stretching that lead out to eight points. Three minutes to go in the first half. North Florida goes inside. Oh, nice. Oh, taken away and a foul call on Vinzant. Looked like he had just picked it right out of the hands of Jonathan Abar. Now, now, did they call that on the back on Makaya B? Oh, you're right. They did. They got a B yeah, with the body. Because Vinzant was a that was a clean pick. I'm not sure if that was right either, but yeah. it'll send a bar to the line. Matt, the only reason I think it happened is because Makai, I think, put two hands mm. on his back. It wasn't a hard push, but when you kind of put both those hands on the back, they got to call it. Free throw goes down for a bar. Young man out of Florida. And the all-freshman all team a year ago, averaging just over seven points a ball game. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see that other hand. Touch, but. Well, every fan in this building thinking that Vinzant had a steal yeah. and, a, and a run out with they're getting ready to get on their feet. We've seen some electrifying plays from the freshmen this year. Kaya B trying to turn the corner. He draws the whistle. So big on big, a B at the other end, able to get himself to the line. Yeah, and you just continue to see how teams are not ready for Liberty's bigs to kind of get them into offense yeah. and run the point. And Makai B certainly has great perimeter skills. And when he saw Jonathan Abar try to come out and guard him out there, man, he just was off to the races, turned the corner on him, got himself to the line. Mentioned to be out the last couple of games due to the COVID protocols. And Richie McKay saying, you know, we'll see how we work him back in, you know, conditioning-wise. Well, listen, he's, they can throw him right out here in the first half of this. He's gotten some meaningful minutes, in part, I would imagine, due to Blake Preston being sure, out. Sure, sure, but even before that, we saw Makai getting some more and more minutes and and, and and doing some nice things with them. It's it's a nice problem to have where you have guys and yeah. you're trying to find minutes for them because you trust them out there. Both free throws go down. He had 11 points yeah. in the uh, opener in Hawaii against Northern Iowa a couple of weeks ago. Under Doyen handling. Now on the wing, looking to feed the post. They get it in there to James. Working on a B. Lost the handle, now gets it back. Forces one up through him. Off the mark, Vincent pulls the rebound, and, and the crowd 
salutes that defensive effort yes. from Abi. That time Abi with a little poke down help from Van Zant. Ooh, oh. lowers the <laughs> shoulder just enough, and James says, listen, young fella. I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. So the foul goes against the B. It's his second. Take a look. I'll tell you, you dip it yeah. ever so slightly. Yeah, if you dip it in the defender's cells a little bit, they're going to ding you. Out of Doy and missed everything. That three-point attempt. So we'll go back to the Flames with an eight-point advantage. Crowd getting into it on that air ball. North Florida, one of their last 11 from the field. Shooting just 20% in the ball game. Yeah, and if it isn't for Liberty's nine turnovers, it would be... Peebles, three ball, yeah. that's pure. Yeah, big shot right there. Liberty needed that one. And Again, created off of penetration, draw the defender, and kick out. Biggest lead of the night for the Flames. A minute and a half to go here in the first half of play. James has it, working on a B. Off the window for two. First buck of the night for James. As the Flames slow things down. Gets to the free throw line. Now kicks out McDowell, pump fake. Out to a B, he'll launch a deep one from the top of the key, that's well off the mark. Osprey's a chance to cut into this deficit. They keep feeding the post. They like this matchup with James on a B. They swing it, three ball coming from Priester. Too strong. Now two of 15. You know something from non-conference play, but it, as we've seen so far, that, that may not tell the whole story. Yeah, I see, I see a game like this. I think you're seeing some of the, the benefits of North Florida playing such a tough non-conference yeah. schedule. You know, they, they, they've been road tested, played some really tough people, big time games, and, and, and you take a loss, but Again, they're young. They, they got to go through some of that to grow up and, and toughen up. McGee trying to free wow. himself up. Driving, hanging oh. up, under and through. Amazing shot. Great body control. And again, they got guys that are very capable from three. I, again, they're not falling. I, I would like to see them you know, go off the dribble some and, and maybe, you know, Shorter shots, shots at the rim, or even again getting yourself to the free throw line. I think that might get the Osprey going. Oh. And the finish for Vincent. He kind of shook his head like I didn't throw it down with two hands, yeah, but it counts all the same. Yeah, he caught it mid stride, so I didn't think he could quite gather himself for the fantastic finish, but he makes sure he get two out of it. At the other end, a foul yeah. on Vincent as he bangs in to Jarius Hicklin. And he'll get no, no. three free throws. <laughs> Second time we've seen that in this game. Yeah, you want to contest hard, especially against a team like North Florida. But you got to get your angles right so you can fly past the shooter and not into him. Hicklin, we mentioned in his first season with North Florida, has been playing better here of late. Double-digit score in five of his last seven. Yeah, you know, Matt, sometimes the transfer portal gets a bad rap. You know, here's a guy who did a real nice job uh, and at the D2 level and certainly wanted, you know, a chance to take his game higher, and uh, he's really making the most of it. He's found a home here at North Florida doing a real nice job. Yeah, I led Oklahoma Baptist with over 16 points a ball game last season. Now scoring over an eight a game for North Florida. Gets two of the three free throws to fall. Keegan McDowell thought about launching the three. Now backs it out. McGee doesn't think. He just launches. That one rattles off. And Hendrickson takes it heading the other way. Hendrickson may be one of those guys, see if you can't get something going to the rim more so than just pulling up from deep. Yeah. He had trouble doing either, though, in the first half. Yeah, Shiloh, again, did a real nice job on him. See, I like this. Back it down. He can go either way. Tough 
look again. <laughs> the degree of difficulty on the shot Shiloh Robinson is forcing him into has yeah. been one of the big stories here tonight. You're right, Matt, because that time he was strong with his body, made some contact, not too much where he didn't foul, and then made uh, Hendrickson take a leaner. Another three from McGee, that one too strong, so he's missed back-to-back -back shots. Hitlin weaving through traffic. Takes the handoff from Parker. Three ball on the way. That rattles off. Again, like Coach Driscoll said, both teams getting shots that they want, getting good looks, just will not fall. He gets in the paint, kicks to the corner, and right through the hands of Joseph Vinzant. So the turnovers were an issue in half number one for the Flames. That's their first here in the second half. Yeah, Coach. Kind of perplexed, and, and rightfully so. This is really not. Is that what that look was? I thought that was like a, a low simmer. Maybe. Yeah, I was yeah. say maybe that was controlled anger. <laughs> but uh, you, well, you hate seeing mental errors and, and, and things like that. Physical errors are going to happen, but just the turnovers are very uncharacteristic for Liberty. Dangerous pass. Hicklin catches it in the corner. Yeah, Back good to Hendrickson. Acting over there to not go out of bounds. Driving on Robinson, that time gets it to fall. So the first points of the second half for Hendrickson, he has seven now on the night. You yeah. mentioned this season, a lot of back spasms he's been yeah, fighting he really, through. Matthew Driscoll saying he's really not found his rhythm. Yeah, and as a shooter, a, a guy that's got great flow, you need you need that. So if you're playing a game, then you're out of the game because of back spasms, then you play again. He just hasn't been able to, to get himself in rhythm. You feel bad for him. In rhythm three there, oh, and that's pure. And he stares down at his teammates on that bench <laughs> saying like it's about time. Ten again. points now for Hendrickson as he's trying to bring the Ospreys back. Again, he's he, he, he's the, the, the veteran on this team, so you know the young guys are watching how he responds to adversity. McGee, and that time, oh. contact, oh. wave it off. Offensive foul goes against Darius. So the momentum shifting a bit towards North Florida, thanks in part to that three ball, and now the stop at the other end. Well, we talked about get a basket. And so Hendrickson, the time previous down, he really paddles for a little, little kind of a baby hook, four-footer, gets some confidence, comes back and drains that three. Adedoyan has it on the wing. McGee, well oh, over him, yeah, get it in now to James, working on the smaller McDowell. Yeah, let's see if he backs him down and posts him up. Good help there by Darius. Six on the shot clock. Adedoyan trying to drive, hangs, gets it to fall. So the offense starting to come alive now, a 9-0 run for North Florida. And again, talked about their penetration, and that time Adedoyan doing a nice job. Shiloh Robinson catches, fires, and delivers from deep. Again, Darius so unselfish. Kind of got two guys on him. Shiloh Robinson left wide open, and great confidence there by Shiloh to stick that one. Robinson now with 11 points to lead the way for Liberty. Hendrickson catches, quick trigger, no, but a Believing, just like I told you, confidence cures everything. And keep having that aggression on the defensive end. Don't worry about fouls. That's the same thing he told us earlier today. Yeah. We know we are a good enough shooting team. It's going to come. Yeah, and they've come out in the second half and have hit some shots. Carter Hendrickson has come alive. He's at eight points already, not even five minutes into the second half. Put this thing to four. They've done a real nice job out of the break. Kyle Rowe whips it to McDowell. He'll drive. Had that one rim off and unable to grab the rebound with a bar. Just couldn't handle it. So yeah, the Flames one. get a second chance. Yeah, you got to know who's next to you. You know, you feel bodies banging against you. That time, Abar and Christensen both go for it. And just, well, maybe just Abar just couldn't really handle it on that one. Liberty with new life. McGee drives all, stopping on a dime, gets a little space and lays it off for his first two of the second half. Man, talk about a jump stop. It was right to the, both defenders flew by. And beautiful pitch. I did that, leave both ACLs on the floor. Yeah. Now a whistle, and they're going to call it travel on James. 
that last Darius McGee bucket, by the way. He oh, passes man. one of our all-time favorite yes. flames, Lavelle Cavill. The move on to the 14th. Yeah, sorry, man. One of the icons in this program that is really one of the guys that has helped turn this thing yeah. around and set the flames off on this tear they've been on the last few years. Yeah, McGee's not stopping at 14. <laughs> just all right. about spoiling anything there as he gets his next bucket. Is that a pass Lavelle? Who's the next yeah, guy I need right. to pass? 13 now for McGee as he has back-to-back -back buckets. Lanier looking for help, gets it to James. Hendrickson has had the hot hand here in the second half. Hey. A bar now. Over the top of Road. Had that one rim off. The rebound cleared by Robinson. He with the rock. Has space. As A bar just hit the deck. And now a foul committed. Or excuse me, that was James that hit the deck. And the foul goes against A bar. Yeah, I think he sort of did what you said that he was trying to stop yeah. too quickly. I think he rolled his ankle. I hope he's okay. Yeah. He's going to. Tough kid. He's going to walk it off. But. You're right, though. It didn't look like there was the contact that created it as much as maybe just kind of rolled an ankle. Looks like he's going to try to stay in the ball game. Yeah. Well, when Darius comes at you full speed like that, man, get you back on your heels, yeah. he is tough to guard. Robinson, it's a free throw. Seven of eight from the strike in this ball game. And that's four fouls now on Jonathan Abar. So he's going to have a seat. Free throws good. You know, North Florida climbed their way back in. Then you look up, and just like that, Liberty's pushed the lead back out to double digits. Yeah, they did some nice buckets, but they've got the stops they needed. And that's where your Liberty, that's where it has to come on the defensive end. Hendrickson. Boy, look at the defense again by Shiloh Robinson. Yeah, I thought I thought on that one maybe Shiloh got a hand on it, but he caused enough problems not giving Hendrickson a free look. You see it right here as he turns in that little baby hook. Liberty gets the other stop, another stop that they need. McGee, full head of steam to the rack, lays it in with the right hand. Yeah, again, that penetration, uh, set it, and now they look like they're... Matt, 11 times in just 16 games this season. Yeah, and he has really led this Liberty charge after it went down to a four-point game here early in the second half. Yeah, let me tell you something. You want to be a great team, you want to be a championship team, it's not built on your reputation. It's how you respond to adversity. You saw North Florida cut at the four. They've not scored since. Liberty's turned up the D. They've gone uh, really aggressive offensively and responded to that hit. That's how you grow. That's how you become a better team. Liberty on an 8-0 run. McGee gets it over to McDowell, right back to Darius. Little zone here by the Ospreys. And quickly they find Shiloh Robinson in the paint, able to draw the foul and get himself back to the line. Yeah, they did a nice job up top, working the ball around, just sort of seeing what they were in, how the zone was moving. A couple quick passes. I mean, you get the ball to Kyle Rhodes, something good's going to happen. He finds Shiloh down, though, down there in a, in, a, in a seam in the zone. Gets himself to the free throw line. Third foul on Hendrickson, so he'll have a seat. Meanwhile, Shiloh Robinson up to 14 points on the night, two off his career high. And I think North Florida changed up the D because, I mean, Liberty was just really knifing it up there, penetrating and scoring. So nice job by Coach Driscoll. Let's show him something different. But Liberty again, up to the task. Good ball movement. Get a couple baskets, a couple free throws there by Shiloh Robinson. Josh Barenbaum in for the first time tonight. Second year freshman out of Clearwater, Florida. As the Ospreys looking for the offense anywhere at this point. With Hendrickson on the bench, who's going to be the guy to step up? They go inside to Parker, and he draws the foul. Yes, yeah, somehow Darius ended up with That's with not where Parker. you want to be if you're Darius McGee. Now, if it's a jumping contest, okay, but Parker had Darius pinned in there deep, and, and uh, I think it was Adedoyan found him. So that's one of those ones where that's a good foul. Yeah, they actually got a B on the whistle, so that's his third. Yeah, on the high ball screen, 
a B had to show, and then that's a long way to recover. So Darius did his best to kind of hold his ground there for a few seconds till the B got back, but just a little bit too late. Another free throw coming for Parker, and he gets that to fall. Lanier bring a little token pressure up, and, and you'll see, again, this is not uncharted territory for the Ospreys. They can bring some, some pressure. Nearly a turnover. McGee fortunate to get it back. Now dangerous pass to the corner. Open McDowell from three. <laughs> that goes down. <laughs> Darius was a running, floating skip pass to the corner, but it was right dead on the money. Thinking about the three, Lanier now puts it on the deck, kicks out, corner three, off the mark, deflected out of bounds, it will stay with the Ospreys. McGee, he is fortunate to get the ball back and then yeah, this is a tough delivered pass. a dime to the corner. <laughs> I mean, through like three guys, outstretched hands and Finds Keegan McDowell right in the corner, right in his hands. He'd go right and step right into his shot. Nice cut and lay in from Jordan Priester, his first bucket of the night. Under 12 to go. They're staying in this 1 2 2 zone. Flames work it around. Nice job. Denied. Oh, Parker went up and got that ball loose on the deck, fighting for it. And it will go to the Ospreys as last touched by Liberty. And that was Isaiah Warfield that knocked it out of bounds. Oh, Jaden Parker, 6'10", <laughs> long arms. And he's making a name for himself doing just that. Under 12 to go here in Lynchburg. Liberty leading North Florida, 51-37. Flames looking for their 43rd straight home win. Second longest home win streak in the nation behind Gonzaga. And as I did a little math here today, and that, that's, that's scary. The, I know, so trust <laughs> these numbers if you want. Liberty's average margin of victory in those 42 games, 22.6 points. There have not been a lot of close ball games, although, North Florida has given them That's right. some tight contests over the years. Yeah, we've called a couple of those. And... Not going to get it done that way. Stepping out of bounds was Priester. Yeah, I mean, being on the road is hard enough. When you come in here and you got to face Liberty's pack line defense where just every the shot is contested and there's no easy ones, I mean, you can see why that, that streak's impressive. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just amazing. They take pride in it. January of 2019. We're coming up on the three-year anniversary of that streak beginning as Vincent draws the foul. And again, Liberty going to the free throw line. One of the big stories in this game. Liberty's yes. gotten there. Now it'll be 24 times after these two free throws. And I've been real impressed these last few minutes. Liberty doesn't play against a lot of zone, man, Matt, because you know they're so great from three. Right. And, and so to not see it a lot, they've obviously prepared for it. And when North Florida sprung it on them a couple possessions ago, it's not really phased them. They've worked the ball around, either gotten some good shots, or you've seen them go to the free throw line again. One more coming for Vincent. And he gets one of two. Carter Henderson heading to the scorer's table. He's had to sit out with the three fouls, but the stage of the game, they're gonna get him back in there. Yeah, got a little rest. He really was a great offensive spark, but they, they need him now. Good find initially. <laughs> Barenbaum dropped it, got it back, got it swatted. I think it was Micaiah B, got his hand in there to block it away. And, and then to the other end, Darius McGee gives it right back. 13 turnovers now for the Flames. But it's been better. I mean, they had nine of those were in the first yep. half. So this second half, they have cleaned that up immensely. You hear Kyle Rode out there yelling. <laughs> I just love how much he communicates. He's such a great leader on and off the floor. 
to Doyen. Baseline leaves it for Parker. Nice feed. That one, I don't know how that didn't yeah. go down. Fight for the rebound, and they're going to get a whistle against the Flames. And that's going to go against Kyle Rowe. Nice pass by Adedoyan and really nice seal by Parker. I don't know how he threaded that needle to get it to him. Parker missed it, but nice find there between those two guys. And that one taken out of the hands of Hendrickson. Yeah, I like how Darius did not rush it or force anything in transition. You know, they turned it over last time, so I like the patience this time. Step back, three on the way. Bang! Darius McGee drops another. Yeah. Pull it back out, run a pass or two, and then that's a much better shot than forcing something in transition. 18 now for McGee. Again, the Ospreys find an answer. The double team comes. James kicks it out. Eight on the shot clock. Out of Doyen. That three ball's too strong. Long rebound comes to McGee. Darius now has eight rebounds on the night to go with the 18 points. Yeah, we talk about his scoring, but the guy is just out there. He's always doing something. He's not a liability defensively. I probably don't say that enough about him. He's tough even at his size, but he passes, he rebounds, he just does it all. That one slipped out of the hands yeah. of Peebles. Flames fortunate to keep possession. Seven on the shot clock, NBA range. On the mark, Little Strong. Yeah, I thought he might go off the dribble with Hendricks in there guarding him, but he was trying to get this crowd on their <laughs> feet with the deep one. Let's pick your poison with Darius. I mean, you try to get up into him, he'll just blow by you. You give him too much space. Hendrickson has a little space. That three well short. Yeah, he, I think he has been working hard in this ball game. That was his 16th shot attempt. Yeah, and he just came in cold off the bench there. He sat, you know, kind of with the fouls and getting a little rest. He looked a little stiff on that one. Road gets into Shiloh Robinson, put it on the deck, had it poked away. Hendrickson hands it off. Out of Doyen with the blow by, gets in the paint, lays it in for two. His second bucket of the night. Yeah, got a step on Van Zandt. Joe Van Zandt did a nice job to recover and try to go high and, and pin it off the backboard, but good basket, basket there by North Florida. They needed that one. He's sizing up Hendrickson, gets in the paint. He got, maybe got stepped on somebody's foot there as he came up a little gimpy. He yeah, was wincing a little bit, yeah. They... Out of Doy, quickly the other way. No, locked again, as that time Vincent got a piece of it. The Osprey's being smart. I like it. I like, run. I like how they run, try to push the pace a little bit. Time's ticking down, but good defense, Joe Van Zandt. It's a shot block and, and collects the possession as well. Back to man to man for North Florida. McGee with the beer James on him, lobs in Robinson. The double team comes. Five on the shot clock. Peebles spots up a deep triple and gets it to go. That started with Shiloh recognizing he had a double team down in the post. Gets the ball out of there, quick reversal over to Peebles, and he sticks a deep one. Flames on the verge of breaking this thing wide open. Parker has a size advantage on Vin Zant. Nice. Um, athletic trainer Aaron Schreiner. That grimace doesn't look like he's enjoying whatever's going on over yeah, there. Yeah, but that's a good one because then you get a half smile, yeah, half so grimace. You know okay. it's not too serious. <laughs> so he will sit out for right now as Liberty goes to work without their leading score. Iggy McDowell kicks it out. Shadow Robinson pump fake. Kicks to Peebles, he'll launch from the wing, off the mark. Hendrickson pulls down the rebound, his sixth of the night. Kind of reaching that stage if you're North Florida where you need a run. Whistle yeah. and an offensive foul. They got Hicklin with just a little bit of a push off. Yeah, he dipped his shoulder and again, we sing the praises of Isaiah Warfield a lot defensively in that time, man. He was right in perfect position. Takes it in the chest, gets rewarded with the charging call. Kyle Road in Liberty into the offense. Looking for help now. Pass 
Down low to Shiloh Robinson. No, the follow off the mark, but that was Isaiah Warfield drawing the foul. Warfield rising up. Yeah. Going to the glass. I really like that. Never take anything for granted, even though Shiloh had a really nice look. Crash the glass, something good will happen. That time he's fouled on the tap in. Gets himself to the line. Baron Baum commits the foul. Free throw. Oh my. In about three or four different places <laughs> yeah. on the rim and pops out. Warfield is an interesting story in that, you know, he's such a highly tired recruit. He's averaged only one point a game. He's getting 10 minutes a game. Yep. And it's because of the defense, the energy that he yes, brings, the hustle. the hustle, not the scoring so much. They expect that to come at some point, but they do like the defensive effort that he's giving them right now. James gets it, surrounded by Flames, rises up and lays it in. Yeah, A-bar out, Dorian James picking up the, the post play for the Ospreys. Good finish right there, around three Liberty defenders. Kyle Roach hands it off to Shiloh Robinson, stepping through the lane, lays it in for two more. He's got 17, a new career high. Yeah, great body control to avoid the charge, step through a couple of North Florida defenders. Soft finish. New career high yeah. for Shiloh in back-to-back -back games. <laughs> The junior out of Kearney, Nebraska, very early. Right, very early, a lot of movement still going to happen. Having said that, if you're North Florida, you fall to 0-3 to start the year. A little yeah, doubt can a, sometimes creep in. And yeah, that's a hard hole to dig out of. Kick to the corner, Workfield gives it to Robinson, turns around, finds Hendrickson right there. Workfield now tracking it down, and a foul call. Hey. Uh, against the Ospreys. Kind of a sloppy possession. Liberty gets bailed out. Foul going against Hicklin. His fourth. Yeah, both teams kind of ball was just sort of pinballing around in there. Both teams hustle for it. That was just sort of somebody getting off balance and causing the foul, but Liberty retains the possession. Kyle Road drives, gives it to Workfield, and again a whistle. So Warfield will go back to the strike. Kyle Road just, just making offense happen that time. Really nice dribble penetration. Heard I said that word a lot tonight. But yeah. I mean, look what it created. Kyle goes to the baseline hard, draws defenders, hits a nice cutting Isaiah Warfield to the hole. Rich McKay talking this week about Kyle Rhodes said he doesn't find his identity in his numbers, yes. in his stats. Yeah. And it's all about the end result. Wins, yeah. it's all about you know finding the best shot. Yeah, see, like, like right there, he, he doesn't get the assist, but he created that, yeah. he ran offense, got, got uh, guy to the free throw line, so good stuff. Check in once again with Emily Austin. Kyle Rode is present. He's the most invested player that I've ever seen or been around in coaching. He really can't speak enough to the value he has on this team. And he's playing at an elite level, an all-conference level. Plus, he's getting adjusted to being married, a transition he said that we all take for granted. And I said, Coach, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know I can't relate to yeah, that. Yeah, that's, okay. that's something I'm still transitioning yeah, to. It's, it's, all, it's all about <laughs> Emma. She makes it about herself. We know how that, yeah. <laughs> no, you got. Kyle Road, yeah. and Blake Presley, Blake Presley. both married yeah. uh, I mean, in the offseason. So, yeah, I, I can't imagine trying to, to manage school, right. athletics, and, and that. Right. And it seems like they're handling it, at least from what we see, flawlessly. Oh, my goodness. You talk about responsibility and maturity. <laughs> to do all that, amazing. Shiloh Robinson again getting yeah. a little bit of an angle <laughs> and laying it in for two more. He's got 19. He just... Matt, he just keeps getting so, he just looks so comfortable now doing all this stuff. All is, there, <laughs> is there one of those where you go, ah, oh, yeah, you, that's one you should get. I mean, it yeah, seems like the conference is a lot better than it was just two, three seasons yeah, ago. Yeah, I agree. And then I don't know if you noticed the dates there, but the Flames have three games in six days. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh, nice yeah. pass. Look at the speed. Fire. Peebles <laughs> leaves it off for Shiloh Robinson. His career night continues, 21. Nice dish, nice finish. But yeah, you're getting into a stretch where every other night you're playing, and so that's where fatigue can set in. 
So when you have a team that's deep, like Liberty, where you got a lot of guys and you can spread those minutes, yeah. save some legs, that's where it comes in. Yeah, look at this. A little back door, another dish. And again, all kind of running through Kyle Road at the top of the key there. Guys playing off of them, cutting, finding each other. Pretty. Road has it on the wing now. Kyle with four assists on the night. Kaya B got his man in the air. Finds McDowell, open three on the wing. That's off the mark. And the rebound falls into the hands of Priester. Lanier got the mid-range jumper. No, and the rebound pulled by Peebles. Peebles has set, or excuse me, six rebounds now on the night as he's given the Flames a well-rounded effort. Go along with six points. Yet again, when you're taking a lot of threes like North Florida has done tonight, you get a long rebound. So credit Liberty, Liberty's guards, as you just mentioned. Peeble, six rebounds. You know, Darius, you know, he always rebounds. He's got eight tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So again, long shots equal long rebounds. So your guards have to kind of know that. Liberty's done a nice job in that, in that category as well. Liberty subbing out Keegan McDowell. Jonathan Jackson making his first appearance tonight. All right, now, so you're North Florida. You're heading to 0-3 in conference play. Yep. What have you seen that gives you hope moving forward that they can get things turned around? Well, again, the shots weren't falling for them. But, but that aside, you came in here on the road without your top scorer. Yeah. And you played hard. That, that's where it starts. So you got young guys, you got to train them. Every night in, night out, you play hard. They did that. I think they had a good game plan. Uh, coming in against Liberty, trying to run them off the line. I just think, really, they would have made a game, but they just couldn't get the shots yeah. to fall. Doyen bounces one in there. Hey, Bar gives Wins. a shot to a B right in the mouth. And they're going to blow this dead as he may have got his lip busted open. Yeah, I don't know if it was his shoulder or... Abar's elbow, but he turned right into Makai. Did he and... lose a tooth? Oh, my. They're looking around on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, the trainer picking up some dental work there for Makai B. And you want to you wanna keep this, or? Hey, you put it on a nice necklace or something. It... I think Makai's like, can yeah. I just stay in and keep right. playing? You get a tooth. Look at I, I mean, you, how tough at, you get. Hey, He's just smiling. You know what, though? The first thing parents think is, how much money did we spend <laughs> to I'm get those teeth looking that good? <laughs> and he may have just left one on the floor there. So he makes oh, his yeah, way off Yeah, the, the court. elbow comes through, and I don't know. They're, I, they're, they're looking should, at it yes, to see if there's anything say. flagrant about it. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't, no, no. Yeah, not on no. purpose, but any shot to the head, you got to look at it. but. Yeah, based on the reaction we just saw from Matthew Driscoll, I, I think they just told him, yeah, just a basketball play. And see, see that one when it again, I'm not a, I'm not a dentist, but I play one on TV. But <laughs> when those, when it, when you get a tooth kind of pops out like that, yeah. and it's just fresh and it's not. So like, put the thing in a yeah, cup of milk think, or yeah, something. Yeah, right? you, what's you, the what's the protocol yeah, there? Yeah, a milk, cold yeah. milk. I, uh, but I think that's one that, you know, that, that's positive. It sort of just pops out clean like that. But I've got some orthodontics questions for you, May. I can hit you with afterwards. I didn't know you did. that was part of your area of expertise. As now spinning around and laying it in is Apar. He's got nothing. Now B's like, man, just no more. Don't take any more teeth yeah, from yeah, me. I'm, I'm, this one's in hand. Let's let's not get crazy here. <laughs> Let me run the point. Yeah, right. Stay out of that paint. That's dangerous. Steven Burgraff just checked in for the Flames, one of the guard spots. A B backing in, couldn't get the shot to fall. As the clock ticks under a minute and a half to go in this ball game. Three-pointer off the mark, four of 24. Yeah, but again, man, like having this cushion and, and getting other guys in, that's going to pay dividends down the road. You save your, your legs, get guys some rest. So when you got those stretches of, you know, four games in eight days, three games in six days, it certainly helps. Another turnover. 
going against the Flames. That's 16 this year, and that's the most for Liberty since the second game of the season. Uh, no, I take that back. Since Bethune-Cookman, they had 16 in that game, the fifth game of the year. And Liberty, remember, they really struggled taking care of the ball early on. That game against LSU, over 20 turnovers. They have changed that. Really, I guess since probably the fourth or fifth game, maybe that Bethune-Cookman game, they've done a much, much better job taking care of the basketball prior to tonight. Looks like maybe it was, was there a slick spot on the court yeah. mopping up. That's actually uh, Matthew Driscoll's son. He is on the staff. Oh, Chase. Yeah, he's a director of ops for uh, the Ospreys, former player in the program. And that's just, special. Just this summer, came back to work yeah. for his dad, and that's very cool. Coach Driscoll saying it's been just great to spend so much time with him. Yeah, it's such a demanding job. So many hours away. It's nice to have. Man, I know that's gonna be some special times, father and son working, coaching together. That pass will have to handle. Going the other way, the Ospreys, and they step on the out of bounds line there, across the way, and give it right back. So if you're Liberty, you get the win. You move to 2-0 yep. in conference play. But also at the same time, if you're Richie McKay, I got to think he's not exactly thrilled with the execution in tonight's game on the offensive end, especially the turnovers is kind of what I'm hitting at. Yeah, for sure. A little sloppy, and, and, and you got to correct that. Um, so there's always something to learn from. Again, you, you, you come away with a, a good, solid home victory. But uh, again, every night it's going to be tough. So you got to work on that. You got to, guys got to improve individually and, and as a team. DJ Moore handling the basketball, gets in the paint, kicks to the corner. Jonathan Jackson, three. That goes down. That's his spot. <laughs> and, and, and DJ, nice unselfishness. I mean, he got himself all the way to the, to the rim. He could have just laid that one in, but skips it out to Jonathan Jackson for the nice three point finish. Corner three coming. Adedoyan gets that to fall. And the Flames will just hold the basketball and let the clock tick down to all zeros. Liberty tonight, eight of 19 th from three-point range. They shoot 46% from the field while holding North Florida to just 31%.